Time to get Monday drunk. I like how it says real scrambled eggs and then a fresh baked tortilla. I just like the idea of this being so fresh and then being like now free mass freeze hundreds of thousands of them and send them all over the place. Yep. Love it. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. What is a gold? What's a gold ale? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> uh, Rev. One of our favorite breweries. The Cross of Gold. That sounds like a thing you'd win in a war. That's it like does. A metal. It does. Look how sick this can looks, though. This is one of those ones that, like, you just see you know, maybe turn a couple heads holding one of these at a the tailgate. Beautiful. It's a very beautiful can. Revolution. A beautiful brewery. Yeah. Both their tap room favorites. and their brewery. Yeah. This one is not oh, barrel wow. aged. That got fumbled and then punted around a little bit. Mine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So people, some of the Rev guys are playing catch with this one. Yeah, and they aren't good at catch. Mm -mm. No, pretty bad at it actually. Um, wow, look at that top up there. It looks like a bear tried to chew on it. Wow, that's hard to see. 4.8% ABV. So this is an easy drinking, easy sipping gold ale. Mm. That's pretty good. I can crush that. That's a crushable can to me. Yeah, I love this. I like when people they crush by like you're drinking it and then yeah. they actually crush it and it squeezes it up into your uh, jowls. Yeah. I like that, that's so pretty fun. First time I ever saw somebody do that was on People Are Awesome. Oh really? Yeah. First time I saw someone do that was uh, uh, Baker, Baker Mayfield. Yeah. He bit into a can and then squeezed it all into his body. It was incredible. One of my favorite quarterbacks in the league. Me too, me I too. I love Baker Mayfield. Um, today, for food, uh, it's breakfast. We're doing a little breakfast here on the Monday uh, episode. This is El Monterey, yeah. family owned since 1964's signature burrito. Oh, wow. And you know what? It's got the staples in it. Egg, cheese, sausage, potato. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's the staples of the breakfast world. That's a foursome I'm fine joining. I'd knock on that door and they'd invite me right on in. Can I get up in that? I'd be like, ah, we're gonna call bacon, but I guess you can come <laughs> Sean Ely. <laughs> All right, I'm pretty hungry. I haven't actually eaten today, so this is gonna be pretty me fun neither. for me. I'm hoping, I'm gonna assume, I'm just gonna make a prediction that I'm gonna need hot sauce with this. This seems like the type of thing that's gonna be made way better with hot sauce, but it's, yeah. probably, we'll see. it's probably gonna be good like this. I'll give you a quick little close up because I didn't shoot any slow-mo on this because I didn't want to like depress you guys. Yeah, I don't it's really tough think, with the burrito. I don't you think know? you need to get a slow-mo of what this a is. wet tortilla. Right, so let us know. It, you know, a lot of people will get the frozen burritos and, and they like a brand, they like a specific brand. Mm -hmm. like, you know what, this one's not that bad from 7-Eleven. Yeah. We got these from Jewel Osco's. So let us know if there's a frozen burrito that you like like and we'll keep an eye out. For yep. It. All right, you ready for this? Oh yeah. El Monterey's burrito breakfast. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Good flavor. Mm-hmm. Those potatoes are pretty good. I'm surprised. I'm getting like the pepper flavor is actually coming through really well. It really is. These are only a dollar twenty-nine. And the sausage isn't bad. This is better than I expected. Me too. The tortilla. It says it's fresh made. It honestly. It's not soggy. It's not all like rock hard or super soggy. Yeah, I thought it was, when I first touched it, it was moist from the moisture that gets trapped in the bag. Mm -hmm. I was like, uh-oh, yeah, get ready yeah. for sog time. Uh-huh. And then I took a bite, sog time's not invited. I can't tell you how many times I looked at my watch. Hey, what time is it? Come on, sog time. Sog time. These here are the soggy bottom boys out of Cottonelia, Mississippi. Not today. Nobody likes that. It's things like this where I'm like, this should not have been okay. Mm -hmm. And it's like better than okay. Yeah, this isn't too bad. And you said it's only a little over a buck? Yeah. Oh man, that's pretty cheap. It's cheaper than a, well, the I think car. You can get the Frito burrito from Taco Bell, I think on the dollar menu. But not everyone's always drunk at a Taco Bell. Sometimes you're drunk at your apartment. And if you load up your freezer with these, I feel like we'd get along pretty damn well. How quick was that? A minute and a half. Let it stand oh, for boy. two minutes. Boom, bam, boom. That's not bad at all. Mm -mm. I will say this, it's not great. Oh God, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like not bummed about this. No, no. You know what, because we cut it open too, my dad loves to like customize like frozen foods he gets, he's a psycho about it. Smart. He'd be like, I put some sour cream and chives. A little extra cheese. Hot sauce, extra cheese on top of it. He like would have made that into an enchilada. Yep. That was really, yeah, I'm satisfied. It's fantastic, and this beer's good. It's a fun Monday. You know, I love coming to work every Monday with you, and this is what we do on Mondays. 
getting drunk, <laughs> eating breakfast burritos. I remember going to my office job and like that walk to work, I was like, sucks. And then like ha go, having an inbox of like 50 emails and people trying to talk to me about stories as a journalist. Like later in the week, I'm like, I, I haven't even gotten a cup of coffee yet. Like, please leave me alone. The thing is, Bob, it's not that I'm lazy. It's that I just don't care. This? Fantastic. This is way better than talking to people. a way better profession to find a way to make money. That's the truth. All right, before we uh, give that a thumbs up or a thumbs down here today, do you want to do some shirt shout outs? Oh yeah. Shirt shout out, shirt shout out, shirt shout out. Yeah. This is the part in the show where we use our fuck. Now you can't say fuck program, you know, cause that's the first up program program. Uh, but this, subscribe. the fuck is our first up program. That's where we do shout outs to the fine people who buy multiple items. And uh, we're gonna, we're gonna put them at the front of the line. Mm -hmm. Shirt shout out number one comes from Erie, Michigan. Ooh. It's Josh Odden. Wow. What did Josh buy? Josh got a jump cut shirt and a four count sticker sheet. His order was 30 bucks. He got two things. First up, fuck. Wow. Thanks, Josh. Thanks, Josh. And our second shout out goes to a special friend of mine, a groomsman friend of mine, Dwayne Mancini. The first ever 25 and up. Patron. Yeah. I think he was the highest patron to ever go above like five or ten bucks. Yeah. Now, I can't wait to finally hang out with Dwayne. Oh, he's the man. Mm. Dude. And a genius. And my fiance's arch nemesis. Oh, yeah. You don't have to. <laughs> uh, Dwayne got himself a pocket shirt and, oh, he got a white koozie. Nice, Ooh, Dwayne boy. Okay, thank you, Dwayne. Josh and Dwayne, thank you so much. Number six with cheese.com. Get yourself more than one item. You jump to the fuck club, the first up program club. <laughs> and uh, we'll say your name first. So, guys, thank you so much. All right. It is a Monday. We do require all of the employees of Number Six with Cheese to be here. Eric, hi. and there he is, He's right on. on. A he game. never misses. On his A game. All right, thumbs up or thumbs down on whether you, you liked, you get again, you overall enjoyed the El Monterey breakfast burrito with egg, sausage, cheese, and potato. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Whoa! whoa. That was like the most average thing. Like I know we talked about it, yeah. and though it was good, mm -hmm. but that was only because. My expectations were so low. So that that's not a good item in my opinion. It's a very okay item that I expected to be trash. Yeah, I mean, it's dead on. Here's where I went with it. Uh -huh. I have a big freezer of like this big drawer in here, right? Where like really only stuff like, remember when we did those French toast on a stick things, right? And it was trash for the most part. But for whatever reason, we bought a box of a hundred of them. And they're just in there. What I'd like to do, Corey, is scoop those out and throw them into the abyss and buy like 10 of these and drop them in there. Because drunk oh, high yeah. Sean Ely, when he doesn't want to venture outside of the, see how close the couch is to my fridge? Yep. See how close the fridge is to the microwave? Yep. If I only got to move about six steps yeah. and I can put a bunch of hot sauce on that, maybe some extra cheese, I think I'd be really happy with that. Yeah. A dollar twenty-nine, I get a bunch of, for 10 bucks I can get like what, eight of them, right? I, I'm down with that. I'm a trash human, you know? And uh, for that, you can make your own judgments. But that's just kind of where I'm thinking. I think those are, I get thumbs up over a thumbs down. I kind of forgot we could do this, but I'm not going back. Guys, thank you so much for watching another Monday video. If you have a frozen burrito that you think should, we should get, let us know in the comments below, or if you just want to say hi, we'll say hi back to you. And we'll see you tomorrow, Tuesday, for a brand new Number Six with Cheese video. Sure! I'll have a drink. Liquid gold, baby. Yeah, this is good beer.